Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. Welcome back also to CC the test server for EVE Online because in today's video I want to take a look at the changes that CCB is planning for the agency window. Uh, these changes should be coming with the Liveblood expansion and uh, they're maybe a little bit controversial because uh, they are basically seen by some players as sort of a looking for group tool and uh, that does remind them of the casualization of uh, of the game and so not everybody is a, a big proponent of uh, of all of these changes but let's take a look at what's on cc at the moment as always let's keep in mind that this is the test server and all of this is still a subject to change in fact when it comes to the agency window ccp is definitely looking for your feedback so if you have ideas concerns uh, feedback definitely go to the eve online forums to the test server forums and uh, give ccp all of your uh, feedback there because uh, in order to make this a, a successful feature i think that uh, they will need your help personally i like what i'm seeing here so far so this is the new agency window and you can basically consider this like a content finder tool in eve online so uh, at the moment we have two filters one for distance say that two jumps at the moment and one for the content type so you can go to 5 10 and any distance and any content you've got all combat mining the agency agents resource wars sites asteroid belts signatures epic arc agents and again resource wars so i think that all of that uh, will be ironed out before the expansion of course but i think that this is pretty cool um, it basically gives you the ability to find stuff to do for instance uh, when you click on asteroid belts this is something that i really like personally it shows you right away that uh, in the asteroids belts in pf one jump away you've got potentially Veldspar, Scordite, Pyroxeres, Plagioclase, Jaspit and Dark Ochre. You need a mining module of course and you're dealing with Serpentis Rats. So this I think is pretty great and uh, it does show uh, very interesting information about what's available uh, in that specific system. Uh, if I click on a security agent mission for instance, get a nice little animated uh, screen and in Orval uh, which is you know this is a test server so the gates aren't set i think exactly the same as on tq uh, but you've got a level three agent um, two jumps away you can get there to request missions of course and then down here you actually have your own standings both with the empire i'm 5.13 with the galente federation and with the corporation itself at 281 which gives you like a visual indication of well it's um level two agents are available for me level three agents are available at 3.0 which i'm not there yet and then level four at 5.0 level five at 7.0 so this is all part of uh, ccp's plan i guess to uh, bring to breed some new life into the pve content of eve online of course they're also going to add the warzone stuff or the resource war stuff rather than warzone warzone extraction is the current event the resource wars is the new content that should come with a lifeblood and that unfortunately is not on cc so it's not like we can show that off but um i think that if they're they're able to do everything that they're promising when it comes to it. it could be very interesting you could for instance look for galente resource wars nearby jump in and help and maybe um, at some point they'll also uh, enable you to for instance start a public fleet through the agency window uh, where you're for instance saying well i'm perceived participating in the resource wars you know i think that that's that's going to be their first attempt and then you know you just create a public fleet this is uh, findable through the agency window anyone can then come in join in on your fleet and and run those resource war sites potentially you could then expand this right i'm a mission runner or i'm i'm a, a miner or something like that and you want to do this together with other players uh, if the idea is to make this a tool to provide and show uh, newer players where content is um, and then to get them into fleets then i think that this could be a very interesting tool uh, to do so uh, if we click for instance here on the epic arc agent uh, which is in orval and then 
um, you've got uh, standings required 2.0 and my standings again 5.13 with the Galente Federation. So it gives you lots of uh, lots of information. Um, I think that you can also see that CCP is planning to bring lots of, of different types of content here. So uh, especially for the mining, I love that you can see the types of resources that you can mine there. So that's still 0, zero. Uh, Let's see if I can go any distance. Look at that, you've got a nice view of the entire cluster. And then if I go uh, pretty far away here, you've got a high-sec system, which has only Velspar, Scordite, and Plagioclase, for instance. What I really like about this as well, while the map here is not probably not as functional as a Dotlan, what I do like about this is that this shows, depending on certain filters, the the available content in the game and it does make this vast universe look a little bit more alive a little bit more filled with stuff to do and i think that that could greatly help newer players get into the game get into the pve of the game and so i'm, I'm liking where this is heading personally i would definitely like to know your feedback as well uh, but so far this seems promising i do think that they need to add some extra filters so that you can for instance um, go for specific um, empires potentially specific alliance spaces and things like that as well they need they'll need to tweak this to make this really uh, a good functioning tool to uh, discover and find content to do in eve online but personally i do like uh, the way that uh, that this is looking at the moment so um the agency there is no agency event running at the moment so uh, this is something that could be cool as well if they can integrate uh, random agency event or the recurring yearly agency events uh, as well into all of this you know then at some point uh, an, an event starts and you'll you'll find stuff that pops up all over the place uh, which could provide you with some some cool content to do on top of that if I, I don't know if you guys also saw my video on the resource wars where basically I was dreaming about uh, the potential to have um like uh, border systems between high and low sec be become um places where the resource wars depending on whether you're choosing to help your faction or the pirates could have an influence on the map if you could then show this on this map here uh like like places where the resource wars are actively being fought between pirates and between factions uh that you could just go there and try, try to help your side i think that this has lots of potential sure it will need lots of iteration lots of work but um yeah the, the tools are being developed to make all of that happen in my opinion so uh, i'm pretty happy with all of this so agency uh not too much available agents let's take a look at that here i'm not exactly sure exactly uh how he, he decides to go uh, how the the system decides to go about these uh but for Korea drone i think i've got uh, yeah, 9.51 on the Creodron uh, reputation here. And so then the Galente rep doesn't become visible anymore. That's something I noticed. Maybe they should just do like two bars right uh, above each other where one is the faction rep and the other is the... Um, the corporation rep or something like that that is possibly something that they could do. Uh, and here we've, we're talking mostly mining agents. And let's see if there's... Fitmart standing is at 9.14. Holy crap, when did I do that many missions for them? Uh, so all of this, you do have the filters here, of course. You, if you want to focus on the Amar Empire, you can do so. And there you go. Look at all the agents pop, popping up uh, in Amar space. Pretty cool. Let's go for uh, Blood Raider Covenant. Holy crap, that is actually pretty damn cool. Look at that. Here is the Blood Raiders. If you want to join them, help them, uh, go fight for them. Here are their missions. Can you then imagine if that those resource wars contents would start to encroach on a um, on, on, a, on a space, on an, a region between high sec and low sec and that you would then have to, uh, agents pop up for those pirates so you can keep helping them more and more, make the high sec systems more and more dangerous, uh, filled with, with more uh, pirates, um, pirate shenanigans or the, the exact opposite side. You want to uh, decide that you want to help the Khanid. Well, they're over here, right next to the Blood Raiders. Here we could have a very nice set of content where depending on the side that you choose, uh, you can you can help out and actually have an influence on this world. And this, to me, looks pretty damn cool. Uh, Sanchez Nation, where the hell are those guys? 
Well, they're all the way down here, for instance. This is this to me. This is really cool. I see lots of potential for this already. Very, very nice. And so the Galente Federation, very much at the center here. Lots of stuff to do. So looks pretty damn cool. Um, you can go with the corporations, the agent types and the agent levels. So you get lots of filters to work with when it comes to this type of stuff. But yeah, resource wars, nothing visible. Sites, not visible. Not sure what, what that's going to mean. At some point, I'm hoping that they can, for instance, do some of the old school live events where CCP would decide that, you know what, we are going to do some Jove stuff, some sleeper stuff, but we're actually going to participate in that. And I somehow show that over here where, well, there's something cool going on here. Maybe even the CCP live streams. How cool would that be? Uh, yeah, could be cool. Asteroid Bells does work, of course. Signatures. Not sure, maybe it could show the stuff that you've scanned down already or something like that, make that interactable. That could be very cool as well. And then uh, Epic Arc Agents. Whoa, there's actually a lot more of them. Than I, I never imagined that this is the state of Epic Arc Agents all over uh, the map. So, yeah, I'm liking this. The Agency, uh, a content finder tool in EVE Online. To me, this sounds very promising. And uh, I would definitely recommend everyone that, that has the time to take a look at this, to give the feedback, uh, to share your, your ideas with CCP when it comes to something like this. Uh, because uh, this does to me already make the universe, uh, the new Eden universe, look a little bit more filled with stuff to do. And then if CCP can actually uh, get uh, the, the interesting PvE content rolling as well, this to me looks extremely promising. And there you go, guys. That's what I wanted to show uh, you all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.